As we start the game, they won the toss and elected to receive, so we're naturally kicking off. They get a good return to, to get them out there in good field position right off the bat. They've got great return people. They hit a crease here on us and get the ball out to about the 38-yard line. They come out throwing the football. In this particular formation, they had been used to uh, running the ball a high, high percentage of the time, but they come out in a one-back set with two tight ends, uh, throwing the football, the first off the drop back, and this one right here off of a little play action, uh, just the fullback hitting up in the middle to hold the linebackers to give them an opportunity to hit the slant. This is Dalton Hilliard. He had a, he had a pretty good day uh, running the football, but not, uh, not like he has had against a lot of people. Our defense just played, uh, played great. But right after this, a little play action pass to one of the great receivers there, uh, Wickersham hitting him out in the flat there for the touchdown. After that drive right there, though, our defense pretty much shuts them down. The longest drive that they have uh, for the rest of the game is 31 yards, and then the next one's 22, and the next one's 14. So our defense just played an absolutely great game. That was <coughs> Mike Shula hitting uh, Greg Richardson out here for, for a nice game. I was real pleased with the way that Mike Shula handled himself uh, throughout the course of the game. There were a few little, uh, few little mistakes, and I'm certain that he's, he's more aware of that than anyone else because he's very critical of himself. And, uh, but I was pleased with the way he handled himself and moved the team uh, down the field. Right here's a <clears throat> real good drive. This is the first time we have the ball, and this is a, a very impressive drive, 15 plays. Take the team down the field for, for a touchdown. This is a play here where we're running a go pattern with Clay Whitehurst out there off a little play action. Uh, I'm certain that Mike uh, saw he didn't have him beat, so he just overthrew the ball to, so it would just fall incomplete. It was Ricky Moore. Ricky Moore had a good day uh, yesterday, running with the football. Our offensive line, I think, did a good job. Coming off the ball might have been their best game. Coming off the football, sustaining our blocks. Just a few times there in the, in the second half where we just didn't get it done when we had to on some critical situations. Here's Ricky going in for the touchdown. <clears throat> That's a very impressive drive there against the fine defensive football team. And our guys deserve a lot of credit right there, just taking it right down the field, 15 plays. And that's a, that's a great drive. Here's a, here's a ground level shot of the touchdown again. We were, uh, during the course of the game, as far as our backs are concerned, I was asked after the game uh, why we came out in a one-back set. We used a one-back set against them last year down in Baton Rouge a little bit with some success, especially at the end of the game to, to drive the ball down the field and run the clock out and win the game there at the end. But uh, that's not the only reason that we use it. We use it, one of the big reasons we use it was because we were low on backs. We had, uh, if you remember, during the early part of the week, uh, he's real, real good plays here by our defense. Boy, they just fired up playing great defense all over the field. But early in the week, uh, we didn't have but two backs that we were practicing with. So uh, we got four tight ends that we can use and receivers. So, uh, uh, and during the course of the game, we got down to really one back at one time. Here's a ball that sails on Mike. Uh, sails over the head of Clay Whitehurst and was intercepted. But even though they take the ball over in great field position, <coughs> uh, down there on the plus 30 yard line, our defense rises to the occasion and gives them nothing. Uh, they get nothing out of this. They wind up having to punt the football. Here's an intention of grounding. They get a penalty. They get a few penalties that hurt them too. Here's a toss play of the weak side. Ricky Moore picks up seven or eight yards. <coughs> Getting us out of the hole. It's third down three play here. We got everything but the ball. Just got to make the catch there. It's to execute in that situation. Real good heads up play here by our defense. Getting Dalton Hilliard there for about a two or three yard loss. <clears throat> that was Marvin Humphreys and, uh, and Ricky Thomas in on that play there. So we wind up the first quarter 7 7 tie. Mm -hmm. Up the third down uh, situation, force them to punt, and uh, our offense will take the ball back over. It's Greg Richard making, making the play, and uh, he gets swarmed under there at about the 20-yard line. This is a third down play here. I think this is a third down play to uh, Ricky Moore, and we, we, we come up just, just a little bit short of the first down, and uh, we wind up having to punt the ball back to him. And here's one of the, uh, one of the factors of, 
of them taking the ball over in real good field position uh, a lot of the times. The great return man, Jefferson, who hits the crease, they do a good job of making a crease for him. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and our coverage team just uh, got to do a little bit better job than that. They hit the tight end over the middle for short yardage here. But our defense just, I can't say enough things about our defensive football team. There's Cornelius Bennett flying around all over the field. Uh, originally, during the week, he didn't work all week. He didn't start the game. And uh, here's one of their receivers dropping the ball for, for a touchdown there. Took his eyes off of it. It was lucky for us. They wind up kicking a field goal here. But uh, we weren't planning on playing uh, Cornelius Bennett, and he got better and better during the, during the week. And just before the game, we talked to our trainers and our doctors and made sure that he wouldn't couldn't injure himself uh, further. And he really wanted to play, so uh, he got in some action there and, and I think probably played pretty well for not having had any work during the course of the week. His draw play, and they have a good defense called on it, uh, a blitz. Here's a shovel pass by their offensive team, and our defense reads it real well and stops it for no gain. And they throw into their tight end. I think one of our guys, I think John Hand, deflected that ball. Uh, John had a real good, uh, a real good day. Shame we didn't have a block, a punt block on right here because he uh, juggles the ball a little bit. He did a re real good job of getting it off. <clears throat> And it goes in the end zone for a touchback. But John Hand had a real good day. I think Kurt Jarvis played great, too. Uh, all of our front people up there, uh, front seven people, I think, must have must have played real good because we had several tip balls. We had uh, good good pressure on the passer. That's a third down and eight situation, a big play to Preston Gothard to get ourselves out of the hole there. Here it is from a ground level. Real good concentration on the ball. Got to hang on to it <clears throat> when we hit the ground there. But, uh, Ground can't uh, can't cause a fumble, but uh, I think our front seven defensive people uh, had to have a great great game because uh, the way we stopped the running game uh, for the most part and uh, good pressure on the quarterback, uh, tipping uh, two or three balls. Here's Paul Caruth. Paul had another real good day, uh, playing a little bit hurt. Here's Doug Allen. Doug Allen had uh, he got hit in the head, and that's why he didn't come back in the game. Got hit in the head and uh, really didn't know where he was there. He's all right now. We just wanted to keep him out. Uh, our trainers felt like it was a good idea, just a precautionary measure to keep him out. His draw play to Paul, I think if he hadn't slipped right there, he would have had a chance to score on that play. Here's a little play action pass. Mike hits uh, Edward Pugh in the end zone for a touchdown right here, and that makes it uh, gives us our second touchdown of the game there in the first half. I think that's when it makes it, what, 14 to 10? And uh, Edward gets a little excited. All those linemen going over are getting a little excited for him. And the uh, score now is 14 to 10. Now they take the ball back over <clears throat> in real good football, real, real good field position here on the minus 45-yard uh, 40, line. It's just before the half, and they, they're with the wind, so they try an extremely long field goal, but it falls, uh, it falls way short. And we wind up the first half and go in at halftime, 14 to 10. As we start the third quarter, we take the ball over on the minus nine yard line and our offense does a real good job. Here's first to toss to Ricky Moore, fullback. Toss play to the weak side, a draw to Carruth to the strong side. Uh, our offensive team does a real good job of running and punching the ball out of there. Now we're out to about the 45 yard line. <clears throat> toss play out to the right side. Failed to pick up a first down on a short yardage situation, and that's where we got our got the punt block. A uh, combination of, of not doing a real good job, or as good a job as we should have, uh, up inside on um, protection, and a little bit slow by Terry, I think, there, it looked like. But it was a combination of both, and they take it in for the score here. They wind up going for two, which I thought was a good decision on their part. But as it worked out, <coughs> their, uh, their receiver, it was very closely guarded by Cornelius Bennett there and Freddie Robinson, and he winds up uh, losing a little bit of concentration on the ball and, and drops the ball in the end zone. And they kick off, they squib kick it. Preston Gothard very alertly jumps on the ball there at the 40-yard at the line, so we're in real good field position. Draw play to Paul Carruth. Paul just had another real, real good day for us. That's all he does is goes, goes out there and plays winning football, and that's what you like. Here's a little delay pattern <clears throat> to Ricky Moore. That's on a third down situation. Pick up a third down situation. 
Now we got the ball down to 25 yard line in scoring position. This is where we get a 15 yard penalty. One of those mistakes that set us back. And then we get to, after that, we get another five yard penalty. And then we then we throw this goal pattern. It's intercepted on the seven yard line, but it's just as good or probably better than a punt. Uh, Dalton Higgard breaks out. We missed a few tackles. I think this was about a 25 or 26 yard run. And that was by far uh, the longest run that they had of the day. And one of the few big plays they had either running or passing, especially after that first drive that we talked about earlier. Hold them defensively, force them to punt, and then we take the ball, ball back over. So that's two times that, that we've had opportunities. We did a real good job with the first one, moving it out of the hole, get the punt blocked. Then we have it in field goal position and, and uh, uh, commit uh, fouls and get penalties to push us back. Now we got it back out there. Moving that, got it in good field position here. Draw play again to Carruth. Does a good job of running. Break it back up inside. First down. This is a play action pass, which we felt like we had a good chance of scoring on. Uh, a little bit of a question there on, on a possible interference call. I don't know. Preston got there here again on third down situation. <clears throat> and picked that up. And we finish up the third quarter, and we'll come back in the fourth quarter to uh, pick up this drive, but we finish up the third quarter, 16-14, LSU. As we start the fourth quarter, here's a draw play to Carlos Robinson. He breaks it to the outside here, uh, makes a nice gain out of it. But we come up with a third and two situation, a little play action pass by Mike here uh, in that situation. We come up a little short. It's on the plus 36-yard line, a lot of time on the clock. Uh, and that was a, a third and two situation. I think the uh, stat sheets uh, uh, refer to it as a third and one, but uh, bring it out to the 20. Their offense takes over <clears throat> on the 20-yard line. We force them to punt, hold them defensively, come out offensively here, and we can't find a receiver open. Mike collects to run it, gets a few yards. Hold on the football, Michael. And uh, they had ruled him down. And then we uh, can't quite get the handle on the snap here. Carlos Robinson very alertly... Uh, Jumps on the football. This is a third down eight situation. We hit Greg Richardson there. We bring three wide receivers set up into the game and pick up a big, uh, a big third down situation. Here's Carlos Robinson doing some good running up inside. Here's a third and third and one situation uh, where we're where we're called for all sides there on the 31 yard line. Brings it up <clears throat> to third and six and. Uh, we don't, we don't connect on it, so we, we try a shot at a 51-yard field goal, and Van just uh, doesn't get a good hit on the ball, doesn't give it a chance. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but he was hitting them pretty consistently in warm-ups with the wind, about 60 yards, and the wind had died down somewhat at that point. So we decided to give them a shot at it. Their offense takes the ball back over, and you can see how aggressive our defense is playing. Uh, their receivers are dropping a few balls, but you can kind of see why they're dropping them, I think, because our defense is just, they know they're going to get hit. Uh, when they when they catch football. I just can't say enough about our defensive football team. Get the ball back over and <clears throat> run a draw play, a little trap draw really up the middle with Ricky Moore. Their defense does a good job stopping it. Try to get the ball out in the flat, reads it, uh, goes to Preston Gothard, can't quite get the handle on it. Now we run it there. Their defense does a good job of, of covering in the secondary. <clears throat> And we go back, I think this is on a uh, fourth down six situation where we miss it there and they take the ball back over. What we're trying to do now is just trying to tackle the football, trying to get one more shot at it. They try reverse. Here's Cornelius Bennett very alertly, reads it like a book and gets them for a three or four yard loss. They do punt the ball and we do get the ball back over. <coughs> Can't quite hit here. The uh, time's winding down and we're trying to, trying to hit it for a big play. Mike runs out of the pocket, can't find a receiver over. Get up and get on the ball quick. We're needing a big play at this point. All very close right there. A little tip drill to Greg Richardson. That could have been a real big play if we could have gotten a handle on that one. <clears throat> this last one's just throwing it down the field there. <clears throat> this is one of the th three receptions that Mike had, but two of the receptions. This one here is in a in a desperation type situation, and the other one was uh, uh, a good as a punt. Otherwise, the, the one that he had was the only one that he kind of overthrew uh, threw a bad ball on. But uh, it's a tough loss. Final score, 16-14 to, to, to a fine LSU team. 
and I still have to say that our guys gave it a great effort. We just failed to execute in some key situations when we had to to, to give ourselves a chance to win the game.